G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac, where we teach you the basics of Swift in 10 minutes or less. Today's lesson is nested types. So let's have a look at nested types in 10 minutes or less. Nested types. Uh, you can create types within types, which is a nested type, and these can create a very complex hierarchy. Uh, of course, the object of programming is to make things as simple as possible and not as complex, but in some cases, this is what you need to do. So here's an example. We have a structure called a blackjack card, and we start off with an enumerator for the suit of the card. And so there are four options. Uh, a card can be a spade, a heart, a club, or a diamond. And as you can see, um, we're using characters to define uh, each of those four cases. Then we can also have uh, a nested rank enum, that is the value of the card. And this uh, is also a little bit more complex. Um, we have some cases. We have case two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we have uh, the case as of Jack, Queen, King, and Ace. Um, then we have uh, a nested structure uh, with the values, we have the first value and the second value, and a variable for those values that uses that structure, and we switch on uh, self to come up with whatever the uh, values are. So in the case of an ace, the first value could be a 1 or it could be an 11 if you're playing blackjack, and in the case of dot .jack, dot .queen, and dot .king, then the values will be 10 and the second value will be nil, and the default, which will be from two to nine is the first is the self dot raw value, which would be two or three or four or five, and the second will be nil. Then we have some properties uh, which say it says let the rank be a rank and let the suit be a suit, and we have a variable description which is a computed value, and uh, it's going to compute a string. And it's going to say for this variable output the suit is the suit dot raw value, and the output is or, uh, appended. Uh, the value is the rank.values.first, and if the optional second value uh, is uh, is not nil, then we also append or second, so, and we return that output. So down here to show it working, we say let the ace of spades equal a blackjack card, which is of rank ace and of suit spades, and if we print that out, we get the ace of spades suit is a value, uh, is an S value, a spade value, uh, and it's one or, uh, and its value is one or 11. So we can change these around, we can put a king, king of spades, and it's gonna say, uh, well, just to make it look nice, <laughs> uh, the king of spades, the suit is a spade and the value is 10, and, and that's exactly what we, get. So look that's an example of a nested type and, and what you can do. Uh, it's limited by your imagination only. Um, but just bear in mind that uh, the more complex it is, the more complex it will be to maintain. Well that's it for nested types. If you have any questions about the tutorial then please leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at Swift Almanac. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and check out our website at www.swiftalmanac.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.